Good morning, everybody. Welcome to February 11th. I've woken up here in Guli in the Maldives, and today I'm actually going on a full day excursion out on the water. This is literally why I'm here to experience snorkeling, going on a boat. The best of the Maldives, I'd say, is out on the open water. That's what makes this country so unique is the Maldives is made up of so many different islands. I saw this poster downstairs in the lobby that has a snapshot of the Maldivian islands that make up this country, which is really cool to see. So last night I was given an option to join a tour because there's a couple guests that are also going to take part in this excursion. We're gonna do snorkeling, we're gonna hopefully see some nurse sharks, some dolphins, and maybe some stingrays, sea turtles, and in between that we're gonna stop for lunch and I've ordered some tuna and rice and we're also gonna stop apparently at a sandbar. So something that's common in the Maldives is just like sandbars in the middle of the ocean where you can stop and get these epic photos of you in the middle of the ocean on an island made of sand which is pretty awesome. Awesome. Obviously lots of swimming, snorkeling off the boat, and also a visit to another island. That's nice because I'm going to be able to see what another island looks like and see if I'm missing out or what's up, what's going on. So yeah, so far I have not really seen anything of Guli because I arrived last night and like you saw, I just went to bed. But I'm just so happy to be here. I'm in good spirits. I love being out on the water. I love being on a boat. So this is all going to be an amazing start to my Maldivian holiday. So let's start our day with the included breakfast here at this hotel. I'm just popping back on before we go out on the excursion I went downstairs to have breakfast and I didn't understand the menu that they give you the menu and then you actually have to select all of the items you want I just thought that they were gonna give me everything so tomorrow I'm gonna get everything on the menu but today I only got selected items but it's okay because I don't want a too full stomach before the boat ride I did want to pop back on and let you know that I'm doing the excursion through this hotel and that I was able to pay by visa because I was very concerned about not having a lot of cash with USD so that made me very happy Happy, but this full day excursion is starting at 9.20 is the pickup and then 9.30 and we'll be returning around 4, 4.30 p.m. That was 70 US dollars, which is quite pricey, but you do get lunch included, all of the equipment, a guide, and you're out on the boat. Of course, that costs money with the petrol, so I'm not too bothered with the price. I knew that Maldives was going to be a bit more expensive, so I kind of had budgeted like at least 100 US dollars per activity here. There are many other activities you can do. Each hotel that you stay at will probably do the same thing. However, it is guest dependent. So if you can't get the numbers from your hotel to fill the tour, they won't run it. That's the downside. But then if that happens and there's a specific tour that you absolutely want to do, you could try shop around on the islands to get a tour offered from a different company that maybe has more people going and they'll run the tour. So there is another tour I'm interested in and my hotel is going to keep an eye out to see if there's other guests that want to do it. But if not, I'm going to just shop around the island. It's the one that goes with whale sharks and manta rays because that is not what we're doing today. So a lot of the islands in the Maldives are actually resort islands, meaning the only thing on that island is a hotel resort. It's just a very luxurious experience. All these other big hotel chains that build these amazing over-the-water bungalow hotels and that's sort of what people associate with the Maldives. Those hotels are like 1200 US dollars a night. Some are even more expensive. Obviously that was not in the budget. <laughs> definitely not in the budget for me. So what you can do is buy a day pass to some of these resort islands and then it will include a transfer to that resort island and back to your own island and those are expensive and that price is just to be at the resort which to me I feel like if you're not with anybody else that'd be kind of boring just to go to a resort and pretend like you're staying there. I think you get one meal included at a specific restaurant. You can buy some alcohol on the islands because if you didn't know the Maldives is a Muslim country and the sale of alcohol on the local islands like the one I'm staying on is prohibited so you can't buy alcohol but you can on these resort islands because obviously they're catering just to tourists so for me it just seems a little disingenuous to be like taking pictures on this beautiful resort island pretending like I'm staying there when really I'm staying in a budget option hotel on a local island but there's like something for everybody and there's a budget option there's also splurge options yeah I just wanted to show my experience as a solo female in the Maldives I wouldn't say I'm on a strict budget I'm somewhere in the middle between splashing out, low end, 
and just enjoying myself. If that interests you, then don't forget to subscribe and give this video a like and make sure to watch all my other videos. But now I will stop talking because I feel like I can talk forever. I'm gonna get ready for my boat trip. So the next time I'll see you, we'll be on the boat. Bye. stop is a quick visit to Mafushi which is the busiest island and it definitely has a different vibe than Guli. It is so much more busy here but we're just gonna wander around just for a little bit. A short but sweet stop in Mafushi. We all decided collectively as a group that we really didn't need an hour here on the island. So we spent about 30 minutes. Very busy, very different vibes here. I have to say I'm quite glad I did not pick Mafushi to stay because I much prefer the laid back vibes of Guli. Anyways, we're getting back on the boat now and we're gonna go find some sea turtles. Nurse 
sharks fish. We thought they were vegetarian, but they're eating fish. There were all these sharks. I think they're just stingrays, but they're massive. They were all, all over the place. Wow, <laughs> top-notch snorkeling. Oh my gosh, totally worth everything. I think I'm in shock right now. You saw the footage, unreal, phenomenal. Just can't believe, like the, the shark was like this close to me. <laughs> That's so cool. Hello everybody. I'm back from my boat trip and I have to say it was fantastic. It started off a little rocky. I was having some equipment issues. My mask that I was given kept leaking and I just was getting things in my snorkel. So I didn't really enjoy the first snorkel spot. Also, I had problems with my camera in my waterproof phone case because it just kept letting air in and the footage didn't turn out too good. So the first snorkel run was just the dry run for the incredible snorkel to come on this tour. I guess the highlight for me had to be a tie between the nurse sharks and the stingrays as well as the sandbank island was incredible. Oh my gosh, the young guy who was leading the tour, he was just so nice. He offered to take my photos for me. I didn't even have to ask him, he just did it. And he took some stunning pictures of me and I just feel so in shock and like pinch me moments of like, was I really on that sandbank? Is that water really that color? 
it was incredible and the sandbank is right beside actually one of the most expensive resort islands in the Maldives. Apparently one night stay is around 7,500 US dollars per night. That's 7,500 US dollars per night. Literally just for like the celebrity and uber rich people at that point. In terms of seasickness, I wasn't sick. I was doing well. I was fine, which was good because I do have a tendency to get seasick. But then we just kicked it into high gear and the boat was like kind of slamming down a little on the water but we just had to shoot all the way out to this like random spot in the ocean I don't even know where and I was able to get in the water with them swim with them and it was incredible part of the tour it also included underwater videos and photos so I got some of that off the guy and he had a GoPro so I think the footage is amazing I can't believe the size of the stingray they were massive I was so scared every time a stingray and a nurse shark got close to me. Literally though, the nurse shark was like right beside me. At one point, the guy, he had dived really low down and a stingray came and swam down, charged him and then like flapped on his back. And then the... <laughs> I was like, what happened? Was he trying to attack you? Was that like a defensive move? I don't know. He said it was fine when I asked him after, but it was crazy. There's so many of them. That's some of the best snorkeling I've done probably since I went to Belize and I had an incredible encounter with stingrays and nurse sharks just like that. But here was actually insane at the amount of them. Like so many of them all at once. So many fish of all sizes. Sharks, people. Sharks. <laughs> and it was so funny because one of the guys like oh can you swim with the sharks are they vegetarians and he's like yeah vegetarian and then they start feeding it fish so clearly not vegetarian just an incredible experience that sandbank island is just incredible that's I guess what I had pictured in my mind for the Maldives is like those just idyllic sandbanks of white sand. All that's on that island are crabs. So we got dropped off around 2.30. So it was about five hours on the water. I found it to be the perfect amount of time because the spot where we saw the sharks and the stingrays was very wavy and I started to get seasick and the current was getting strong and I was just ready to come back and enjoy my hotel room, have a shower. I did my nails. I'm shortly gonna go out for a walk to the little town of Guli because I have not explored the island yet. And I do wanna walk around the island a little bit and get some dinner on the island tonight. So anyways, that's the update for now. I'll see you guys maybe at the local beach. Welcome to day three in the Maldives. It is February the 12th today, and this is my first full day on Guli Island. Today, I'm having a slow start to the day. I started with some breakfast. I had much more food this time because I knew how to order. So I tried the sausages, their chicken, and they were actually really good. Because I went to Mafushi yesterday, I saw the beach and the guide told me that it was all artificial, the one for tourists. Here they call it the Bikini Beach because as I said, this is a Muslim country and women in the Muslim religion are expected to cover up. So what they've done for the tourists is created a designated beach called the Bikini Beach or the Tourist Beach. And the thing about Guli that makes it special is it's a natural beach and it's nice and long and we have lots of room to spread out. And that actually was a large reason why I chose Guli over Mafushi or any of the other islands because I heard that the local tourist Bikini Beach here was awesome. I've just sunscreened myself up. I have to admit I did burn myself on my back yesterday on my snorkel excursion. I did not put enough sunscreen screen on the hard to reach areas of my back and the top of my butt got sunburned <laughs> so I'm uh, gonna be extra careful to protect those areas today but if I'm being honest my spirits are not the highest today I got some upsetting news from back home this morning when I woke up and that's kind of put me in a bit of a down mindset so that was an unexpected development I was not expecting to be sad in the Maldives but I'm trying my best to let it go I'm on this beautiful holiday and I truly believe that you're experience does depend on your mindset and your perspective you can still choose you have the power to choose the mindset that you wish to adopt for the rest of your holiday your reaction kind of determines your growth and how you handle the scenario and the situation that's dealt to you so I'm choosing to be positive and be present in the moment be grateful for the good things that you have and just 
find moments of joy in the day to pick myself back up. I gave myself space to feel those emotions, but I'm not letting myself dwell on them. And that's the big distinction between feeling emotions, but letting them pass and not dwelling. So that's how we're going to start our day. Thanks for listening. And I'll see you guys at the local bikini tourist beach. absolutely pouring rain right now this is the first time we've had mega rain when i went down to explore the island and then i went to the beach earlier it was cloudy but then it started just pouring down big fat drops of rain which didn't last too long but it was enough for me to escape i've been relaxing in the room i had a very early dinner and then i had some great news which helped turn my day around because like i said earlier i was a little upset with some bad news that i got from back home and then also my dinner was like super mediocre and very expensive like 22 us dollars for a very tasteless meal so that was upsetting it's always upsetting it doesn't even have anything to do with the maldives it's like anywhere i go where i'm paying for for dinner and it's not good that's just not nice you know but then i came back to my room and i got some awesome news that they're running a whale shark tour tomorrow and that's literally the number one thing i wanted to do in the maldives was have an opportunity to see whale sharks and manta rays i've been asking like three different tour companies if they're running any of the tours they all weren't very confident we're leaving tomorrow at seven in the morning and as you can tell i'm very excited but actually the rain giving it's giving me energy i don't know what it, i don't know what that about but it's a positive sort of feeling that I'm getting from the rain and excitement. My day wasn't looking like it was the most positive experience but then just in the last couple hours it has turned around and I feel so much better. And also to let you know that we're going on a tour tomorrow! I gotta get to bed early, I have to prepare my bag. I raced outside to grab my towel because it was hanging on the railing outside but it was getting wet. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next update. Bye!